everybody, my name is Chef Mary and I'm one of the chefs here at the Way Cool Cooking in School and we are super excited to bring you this week's breakfast baking kit. Um, this week's kit was awesome. It had everything to make four amazing breakfast baking projects that you can um, kind of do periodically over your weekend and have a lot of fun baking up with your family. The first recipe we're going to do today is we are going to make our dough for our New York style bagels. And so in this kit, um, you received a lot of ingredients that we're going to be using in a lot of the different baking projects that we're going to do. And so I have everything measured out here for our bagel. So I have a big bowl with three cups of flour. I have my sugar, my yeast, and my salt all measured out ready to go so I can jump right in and make this dough. The other thing that I need is I've got a cup and a quarter of warm tap water. So this isn't water that I heated up in the microwave. Um, I just ran the tap water until it was really hot where you stick your finger in and you're like, oh, that's hot. And then, um, cause you don't want the water too hot. Um, otherwise that can actually not be so great for the yeast. And this is a great yeast dough and that's what causes the dough to rise. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my big bowl of flour and I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna sprinkle the salt all over there and just take a table fork and I'm just gonna combine all of that in there so that the salt is equally distributed throughout the flour. Then I'm gonna take my trusty wooden spoon and I'm gonna dig a well into the center of that mixture right there. So I have that ready to go. Next, we're gonna talk a little bit about yeast. And so this is a dry active yeast and so you're gonna measure out and use your one packet of yeast for this recipe. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it on top of our warm water. And what that does is it allows the yeast to what they call bloom. You're gonna notice that some of the yeast is kind of going down to the bottom of the surface there, and that's okay. The warm water is activating the yeast and kind of waking it up, if you will. And when yeast wakes up, it is really hungry. And so now we're gonna feed it a little bit of sugar. So I'm gonna grab my fork again, and I'm just gonna gently stir that yeast in there a little bit as I sprinkle on my sugar and swirl that in there as well. Okay. If your water is too cold, the next step may take a little bit longer to do, and that is we have to let that yeast create a foam on top. That's why I highly recommend using a warm uh, tap water, not cold water, because that'll just take a, a much longer time. And so I've got my yeast here. I can already kind of see the little bubbles coming to the top. And what's happening is the yeast is actually taking that sugar and turning it into carbon dioxide bubbles. And those bubbles are going to help our dough, our bagel dough rise here in a little bit. The other thing that you got in your kit today is our everything bagel toppings. We're going to make some everything bagels today. You do not need this until after your dough is made, um, but it did come in a little packet for you. So we're just going to set that off to the side. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, once my mixture is nice and foamy here, and it does not take very long as soon as you see the foam, because we're gonna let this dough rise um, and let it sit for a little while. I don't need to, as long as I know that the yeast is activating and is doing its thing, I'm gonna incorporate it into the dough. But you do wanna make sure that you see the little white foam starting to collect on the top of your yeast mixture. You can even let the foam grow to about an inch over that, which takes about five to 10 minutes. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pour this mixture the yeast and the sugar mixture into the center of my well here and make sure that I get all of that out. So I'm just gonna take and make sure your water is warm enough. It's also gonna have that sugar gonna dissolve in there so that you get that sweetness to the bagel recipe. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and I'm gonna use the back end part of my spoon and I'm gonna start to slowly incorporate the flour into the center of my well with my liquid in there. And the reason I do this is it just allows us to get a nice smoother dough a little bit faster and not such a lumpy dough. So we're gonna take and I'm just gonna keep swirling this around. I kind of like to turn my bowl a little bit as the dough starts to get going. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this until a dough ball forms around the bottom of your spoon here and you can move the whole thing together. And I'm kind of at that step right now. So then I'm gonna take my hands and get them a little floury, clean off my wooden spoon and set that down. And then I'm gonna to start to knead the flour into this dough. We really wanna incorporate as much of this flour as possible into our dough mixture and knead it up. And the reason that we'd like to do that is because we really want a nice firm dough for these bagels. So bagels are start off with a very, very firm dough. 
Some of the doughs that we work with, like donut dough is a very soft dough, but the bagel dough is a nice, firm, firm dough. And so I'm gonna just keep pushing this in here until our dough ball forms. And then when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys um, how to take this dough and we are gonna shape it into our bagel shapes here in the next video. So stay tuned and when we come back, we will show you how to make um, our bagel shapes. All right, um, our dough, we've been kneading it for probably about five minutes now on a lightly floured surface. And so I just wanna kind of show you the next step here. As we're kneading, kind of the nice thing to remember is as I knead, it's not about really beating up on the dough so much as just like gently pushing it away from you onto the surface and almost a rocking motion. And as I'm doing that, I'm taking the heel of my hand and I'm taking the dough and I'm kind of pushing it into itself as I rotate the dough with my other hand. And what this is gonna to allow to do is on this lightly floured surface is give me a really, really nice, smooth, elastic, firm dough. So I always kind of like to compare it to like a memory foam pillow. And so once you have your dough nice and smooth like this, and again, kneading it takes about five minutes, then you can take your finger and press into it and it'll press in and it'll slowly come and release back up like a memory foam pillow. And once you have that done, you're gonna take your big glass bowl and we're just gonna oil it. And so the easiest way for me to do this is I just take a little bit of Pam here and I take the dough ball and I set it in there and I give it a little swirl, maybe even a flip or two to make sure that it is all covered. So when the dough does rise, it doesn't stick to the sides of the bowl. I'm gonna cover this with a little bit of plastic wrap and we're gonna let this double in size. Um, after that point, we can go ahead and create our bagels so that we can boil those and bake those up. So that's what's coming up next. We're back with our bagel dough. And oh my gosh, you guys, it is definitely doubled in size. I can tell for two reasons. One, I got this really kind of cool dome of all the carbon dioxide that the yeast has made in there. And then also just like visually, it's like twice as big as when we, as when we started. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna take and we're gonna divide this dough into eight even pieces for eight bagels. And so what I'm gonna do is because it's gonna be a little bit easier to roll actually without flour on the counter to make our bagel shape. I'm gonna just take and I'm gonna gently start to kind of turn this into a log of dough. And this is gonna kind of act as like punching down any of the excess carbon dioxide air gas that got trapped in that dough too. And then I'm just gonna lift it out and I'm gonna to continue to shape it here on my countertop. I'm gonna grab my dough cutter or you can grab a chef knife too. And I'm gonna to try to cut it into eight even pieces. So I've got four. And then I got eight. And now we are going to play with the dough and we are going to make us some bagels. All right, so let me move these up and out of the way here so I can show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one at a time and I'm gonna start by rolling it in my hands. And then I'm gonna, once I get it round, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna start rolling it on the counter. And what you're kind of doing is you're turning the dough into itself as you're rolling it. So my hand is a dome, full dome, and I'm just kind of moving it in a circular motion. And as I'm doing that, the dough is getting rounder and smoother and rounder and smoother. And you really want this, just like when we started the bagel dough, we really wanted a nice firm dough. You really, really want it to be so you get that hard, that, that kind of chewy um, outside of your bagel and then that soft inside. And this is gonna help create that bagel kind of outer layer, if you will. All right, so I'm gonna take here and I roll it in my hand. And so I have no seams. It is nice and round and smooth on all surfaces of the dough. And that takes a little bit of practice, but it's totally fun. And you can roll it really, really nice and tight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to do that with all eight of these pieces and get them nice and round. So again, first thing I do, make it round like a snowball in my hands, and then I move it to the counter. And because there's no flour on the counter, it kind of sticks to the bottom of the counter a little bit too. And that really, really helps make that really, really tight little dough ball shape. All right, so that's happening with all of those. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your finger and you just press all the way through your bagel and you just kind of stretch it out gently. You don't wanna pull the bagel. So I kind of just like pull it gently to about a third of the full bagel size. So about that big. And we're gonna take these bagels now and we're gonna take and we're gonna put them on a piece of parchment paper and we're gonna let them rest, recover them in either a damp kitchen towel or plastic wrap and we're gonna let them rest for 10 minutes. 
and then we're gonna take, and while they're resting, this is a great time to preheat your oven because your oven's gotta be really smoking hot at like 475. Um, and also to get your water boiling because the next process, we're gonna take our bagels and we're gonna drop them um, into our boiling water and that is gonna help create that crust that we love about bagels. Then we're gonna sprinkle them with our everything bagel seasoning and then we're gonna pop them in the oven. It's time to boil and bake our bagels. All right, we've let our bagels rest for about 10 minutes. And so they are nice and puffy and oh, they're so adorable. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna boil them. And then we're gonna put them on a oiled parchment lined baking sheet and we're gonna bake them off. And so I just wanted to show you a little bit about how we're gonna do that. So I said before, we're gonna drop them into the boiling water. Well, we really don't drop them because that's not safe. And if you are making this kit for your grown-ups, make sure that they are around you always when you are using the stove. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna gently take and we're gonna just kind of let them fall into the boiling water here. And they're gonna go for a minute on each side. And you can boil as many as you feel comfortable boiling at one time or really how big your pot is. So I grabbed one of the biggest pots that I have here as far as like how wide it is so we can pop those in there and then I'm also kind of doing this as I'm dropping this making sure that that bagel hole is still open in the center. Looks like my pot is going to allow me to do four bagels at a time. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a spatula or you can grab a tongs and we're gonna let those go here for about 10 seconds. That'll be about a minute. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna flip them over and do the other side. So I'm gonna go in. The other thing is I always like to put things in in clockwork order so that I know what order I need to flip things to. So there's the first one. And then we're gonna go with the second one and go all the way around until they're all flipped. Now, if you really, really like that really signature chewy East Coast bagel, um, you can actually let them go two minutes on each side and that is a really another great way to do this. We're gonna lift these out here with a spoon and so I'm gonna grab a slotted spoon and I might have to call in for reinforcements here. Chef Lynn! Chef Lynn's somewhere around here. Chef Lynn, can I get a slotted spoon? Yep. All right, she's gonna, she's gonna track one down for me while they're finishing. The other thing is, is this is the time for the everything bagel. So we're gonna lift these out and put them onto our Pam uh, baking sheet and then while they're still wet we're going to take and we're going to sprinkle on some of our everything bagel mix and so I'm going to save half of it for the other four and we're going to take and we're going to scoop those out here oh thanks Lynn mm -hmm. she's the best always have a lid all right so we're going to take and I'm going to move this close to here so you can kind of see and I'm going to gently lift these out pop them over and then sprinkle my seasoning on there and just the water alone will allow the bagel seasonings to stick on top of my bagels. They're already starting to already poof up even more than the resting size. I'll show you the two sizes here in a second. And that pan on the bottom of the, the bagel pan allows it so that they're just a little bit easier so that they don't stick while they're baking in the oven. So you can see we've got these and then there's this one. So like it already poofs up just by boiling it. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna boil the other four and we are going to bake them in the oven. Our oven has been preheated at 425, and so it's really, really nice and hot. And we're gonna allow these to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes until they get nice and golden brown on the outside edges. Um, you could also take an egg wash these if you really like a really, really golden brown bagel also. All right, next time you see these, they are gonna be out of the oven. Fresh out of the oven, New York style, everything seasoning bagels. You guys, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to wait until these cool off to put some cream cheese on them. They look and smell so delicious. And this is one of those recipes that is a perfect weekend recipe because I'm telling you, it is worth the wait. Um, enjoy your bagels.